Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Super Evil Megacorp CEO, Christian Segastrolli! Hello, Singapore! You know, it's incredibly special, it's incredibly special for me to be here with you today. Because this is where Vainglory began. I'm here like with you guys, literally the founding community of Vainglory, unveiling the biggest update that Vainglory has ever seen. You know, at, at Super Evil Megacorp, we're all gamers through and through. And as game industry professionals, as games industry craftswomen and craftsmen, we are on a mission to make the absolute best multiplayer experiences for touchscreens. You know why? Because mobile gamers deserve better. Because, because mobile gamers deserve strategic depth. Mobile gamers deserve accurate controls. Mobile gamers deserve believable characters and the kind of graphical quality that we expect as gamers on any gaming platform. And we at Super Evil Megacorp, we believe this so much and so passionately that we've in fact built the whole company on top of our own game engine the evil engine that helps us, or rather that is specialized at squeezing the absolute most performance out of mobile hardware. Three years ago, those of you who remember, three years ago, when we originally unveiled Vainglory on the Apple stage where we had a three minute segment, we were able to show a game that was able to render 1.3 million polygons, more than 100 moving actors on screen, as well as something that runs at 60 frames per second flawlessly on an iPhone 6. That was, that was three years ago. And we are incredibly proud. Of course, you know, we're proud of the technology and we're proud of all the design work and, you know, what Vainglory has become. But we're most proud of all of the things, if you look at where Vainglory is today and when you guys have, where you guys have carried us to, we today have millions of players playing every month. We have millions of people watching Vainglory being played every month. We've grown to become the largest international mobile eSport, which is amazing. But even more than that, though, we're proud of all those things. But the thing that we're most proud of, to be honest, is, is you guys. You guys are the nicest, most helpful, most supportive community that any game company could ever wish for. Any success that the game has had today is down to you guys. And from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of the hearts of all of us at Super Evil Megacorp, thank you. Thank you. However, with 3v3, our dream was at best halfway complete. Because our dream was always to bring the full 5v5 experience to the touchscreen generation. And it wasn't enough for us just to do 5v5. We wanted to do 5v5 well. We wanted to do it to a standard that is entirely unapologetic, whether it's in terms of graphical performance, design depth, strategic depth, and the overall feel of the game. So it's pretty exciting to be here today, having worked on that now for years optimizing the engine, building the underlying technologies, building the characters, the environments, the animations, 
to make this possible. It's not done yet. We're not yet finished. We're at best at an alpha stage. But we are about ready to show you guys what we have been working on. Because even if I even if I say so myself, it's pretty special. Here, I'm going to need your help. Because Captain Nido, our chief creative officer, the same guy who unveiled Vainglory on the Apple stage, is actually not here today because he's still at the lair in California at our offices putting the finishing touches on 5e5. But perhaps with your help, we can conjure him here. We can summon him to tell us and show us what 5e5 is all about. For that, for that, for that, I'm going to need your help. And this is where we need to work together. Because we need to get loud, but get loud in an organized way. So, 5v5. 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 Take it away, Captain Nilo! Hi guys, Captain Nito here, Chief Creative Officer at SEMC. I am so sorry that I am not there in person, but I'm betting you guys will forgive me. I'm only back over here deep in the trenches because myself and the SEMC gameplay devs are putting the finishing touches on Vainglory's 5v5. I also bright play off beard with a gluten-free cookie so I could have this opportunity to share with you all the secrets and crazy stuff hidden behind closed doors in our newest and long anticipated multiplayer game mode. Are gluten-free cookies tasty, you might be wondering. And the answer is no. No, they are not. Playoffs just weird. I had this whole speech planned out where I was going to use all this video talking about the graphical upgrade you'll experience firsthand because there is just so, so much. The new map weighing in at over 3 million polygons, the hundreds of animated actors, the new turrets, the gorgeous lighting. But I know that these are visuals so powerful that they easily speak for themselves. So instead of rambling on like a goof, as an industry first, I'm actually going to shut up and let you just, just take a look at this. So Vainglory 5e5, the Sovereign's Rise, the map that you just saw, will be launching for everyone in February of 2018. <laughs> However, some of you, some lucky ones, will be able to get access to a golden ticket before February and be the very first people to play 5v5, out in the wild. I'll talk, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. 
But remember, these still are all alpha graphics that you're seeing today. The team is tirelessly working in the lair at polishing these things up and adding all those little bits of magic that makes Vainglory Vainglory. Do you want to see some more? Yeah. All right. Let's hand it back over. Captain Ito, what else do you got? Even in its pre-alpha state, our art team composed of veteran industry ninjas have outdone themselves. From the ancient gothic gazebos near the spawn platforms, the gurgling rivers, the mysterious jungle, to Black Claw's den, Sovereign's Rise is nothing short of beautiful. Some of the savvy amongst you might also notice that Vainglory 3.0 also includes a near industry first, Fog of War on mobile. Yeah, you heard right, Fog of War. Our CTO Tommy and the core engineering team have achieved this paragon of MOBA game mechanics through nothing short of tireless commitment. You have to understand, Fog of War for us was never just about making it work. We wanted to make it work well. And that meant it needed to live up to our unapologetic standards of beauty, excellence, and most important, performance. There's a reason why no other MOBA on mobile has been able to achieve this holy grail to this level of excellence. Traditionally, the calculations to perform and render Fog of War on handheld devices has been nearly impossible to do without making your frame rate grind to a halt and make your phone melt through your table. Many games have tried it and failed, but we've done it. Vainglory 3.0 is proud to debut this much pleaded for feature as part of the mobile ready evil engine and exclusively for Vainglory. And this stuff doesn't even scratch the surface, folks. I honestly could spend the whole video talking about the art and graphics, but hey, only had one gluten-free cookie. So I gotta talk at least a little bit about our development plan and some juicy secrets behind the creation of 5v5. Rumors and whispers have abounded about how 5v5 plays. Vainglory has always been about crafting the unapologetically authentic and best MOBA experience that we as developers believe is possible, while at the same time making the best choices to keep the game approachable and friendly to new players. So when we kicked off development for 5v5, we started with that core principle in mind. Both veterans and new players alike need intuitive controls and much more tactical information in 5v5 than in 3v3. To solve some of these problems, we took a unique approach. All players will play from left to right. This is done by clever mirroring of the art and camera even when you play from the opposite side. This allowed us to be more generous to the space and readability of the minimap, making it bigger and richer while having the confidence that for all players, enemies will still appear on the more empty right side of their screen. Don't worry, for those of you used to the minimap on the other side, there's an option to switch it back. But try it first. Play it and tell us what you think. With such an expansive battlefield, we quickly realized that our tried and true scout traps were no longer the most effective way of placing vision. 5v5 introduces a new vision item called the scout cam. While they don't explode like their scout trap counterparts, scout cams are more reliable, they live longer, and are harder for enemies to clear, giving them a much better feel for such a large battlefield. All players can place them using scout totems automatically included in their inventory. And yes, for you captains out there that love seeing it all, your scout cams can be upgraded to increase their charges, durability, and vision range. Wait, how much more time do I have? Okay, okay, dang, I'm running out. Okay, but there's so much more. The creatures that live in Sovereign's Rise are new, vicious, and with game-altering effects for those brave enough to attack them. Gold Toad provides you with gold. Oh well, it's still a treant right now. I told you, we're still working on it. But it will be a toad, I think. Okay, trust me. Next are creatures that will enhance your crystal power, weapon damage, even health and energy. The jungle shop has evolved, taken to the skies. They've taken up residence near the river, here and here. Just as in 3v3, shopping is risky, but ultimately very rewarding. Okay, you want to know a quick secret? See that gorgeous river? If you move with the river's current, you run faster. I am totally not kidding. It's pretty badass, especially when playing as Saw mid lane and need to travel south to help a buddy. How much time left? Okay. More secrets. Don't want to walk all the way to the lane? There are boots that actually allow you to teleport for that. Laning has new mechanics too, but we've introduced a new minion called the Captain Minion. These are these large guys at the end of the minion wave, right? When they are around, they buff the other minions near them. 
Taking out an enemy captain minion, but leaving the other minions, sets up a slow push for a lane, enabling you to manage your lane pushes strategically. I haven't even gotten into the new vein crystal or its armories and defenses. That's right, you want a base race? Cause the vein in 5v5 fights back, bro. And most importantly, Sovereign's Rise is home to a new monster. Well, two actually. Move over, Kraken. You're not the only mythic creature in Vainglory anymore. Meet the Storm Queen's dragons, Black Claw and Ghost Claw. Each with over 145 bones, 50 animation frames, and multiple PvP attacks, these dragons are the most complex creatures to ever have set foot in Vainglory. Both dragons will circle the map before landing at 7 and 15 minutes, respectively. A courageous battle with Black Claw wins his loyalty, sending him down the lane to crush and pillage turrets and foes. Conquering Ghostwing provides a team-wide mega boost, turning you all into terrifyingly powerful adversaries. Dude, these are what real dragons feel like. It's all in there. Spellbinding matches, visceral mechanical skill, deep rotational and tactical strategies, a complex vision game, and epic objective fights. And more fun than anything else on mobile. All with your favorite roster of 35 plus Vainglory heroes. With Vainglory 5v5, we set out to create the absolute cutting edge of not just mobile MOBAs, but mobile gaming as a whole. Because you mobile gamers deserve better. I know you've waited a long time for this. We hope you love it. And we can't wait to see you on the rise. Okay, I gotta go. I'm out of cookies. So, three million polygons, over 200 fully animated actors, running at a flawless 120 frames per second on all compatible devices. Teleports, dragons, fog of war, an upgraded vision game. But all of these things put together, more than anything, through the tireless testing and iteration and design magic and our PB testers, have coalesced into an experience that I, as a gamer, am absolutely in love with. I hope you will be too. And the best part, despite all of these technological upgrades, all of the graphics upgrades, the larger arena, all of those things, Vainglory 5v5 will run on the same device as you're right now playing Vainglory 3v3 on. So anything down to an iPhone 5, if you still have one of those, or anything down to an Android 4.1 handset with something like two gigabytes of memory and a dual core CPU. Because at the end of the day, as gamers, gameplay is everything to us. Making sure that you have that control position, you can outplay and outthink your opponents and the device going away where it's literally just you and your opponents and your team. Do you think you want to see a game being played on the map? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a good cue for me to stop talking. So before I finish, reminder for you guys. Firstly, Vainglory 5v5 will launch as part of the Vainglory 3.0 update in February. Those of you, those lucky few of you who have golden tickets, those of you who have golden tickets can actually already play Vainglory 5v5 in update 2.12. So the very next update of Vainglory will let golden ticket holders start playing. And remember, after this presentation, from today onwards, you can get golden tickets by completing quests in Vainglory, by signing up at 5v5.vaingloryGame.com or in some cases, watching certain content creators and partners promote Vainglory. And one last thing before we start the game. You guys who have come here to support us, 
to watch us on this finals day and today's unveiling have already completed your quest. You don't need to do any of those things <laughs> because you guys are the very first, the very first recipients of the golden tickets that we are giving out. I can't wait to see you guys on the rise. I'm glad you're as excited about it as I am. All right, people, let's go play some 5v5.